Hi and welcome. Last time in issue one of The Closet, we were left with Tom and Maggie being super mad at each other, and a very scared four-year-old who was being tormented by a monster in his closet. Here we are in issue two, with Tom and Jamie on the road trip through the mountains headed to their new home. Maggie is a present of this issue. It's said that she is already at the new house doing orientation with her new agency. Maybe a few days apart is just what this couple needs? Tom's got Jamie with him. He's doing the age-old, long road trip through the mountains. Some father-son bonding time. That's nice. Although the story starts off with Tom saying sorry for being so angry. Maybe not the fun trip he had planned. Not too long in, we meet Mac. He's an old friend of Tom's. He's actually a pretty cool guy down to earth and says how it is. He immediately starts in on Tom, giving him shit for not having his kid's luggage or even a toothbrush. It seems like Mac is one of Tom's oldest friends, but they haven't talked in years. Mac is quick to give him shit about that too. We do get some insight into why Tom and Maggie are butting heads so much. Apparently there is another woman, Megan? Uh oh. And in, as in the first issue, Tom thinks that this move will be a fresh start. All their problems will just melt away, and they can pretend nothing ever happened. I have a feeling, at least with the Closet Monster, that's not going to happen. So, this monster, it also packed up and went on the road trip. We see it now at Max's house, with the two adults outside, the monster comes out and attacks Jamie. And this issue ends off with the monster dragging Jamie, screaming into a closet. Is this the end for Jamie? Will he just wake up and everything's back to normal? I mean, I hope so. But let's find out in the next episode of Producer's Pick when we review The Closet, issue number three.